Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you another top 5 clothing glitches in GTA 5 online. So as usual, we'll be starting off with some quick and easy cool glitches and then as we go on in the video, we'll go on to the better, bigger clothing glitches. Anyway, if you do enjoy the video, a like would be massively appreciated. But before we get into the video, shout out to all of these people on screen for commenting hashtag TJRH on my last video. If you guys would like your own modded accounts with modded outfits on them and plenty of money and RP, be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. These modded accounts come with cash ranging from 50 million all the way to 1 billion. They also offer account boosts, which are great because you can get an already existing account boosted with tons of money and RP. These guys have over 4,500 reviews on their official Trustpilot page and are by far the most highly reputable modders. There will be a link in the description and the pinned comment to this website uh, and also don't forget you can use my code TJRH for 5% off your order for a limited time only. Now to start off with the video we have a really quick and easy clothing glitch and it is how to get your crew logo onto a parachute. So you can obviously change your crew logo so it matches the outfit you're trying to make um, but to do this glitch to start off you want to go to tops, you want to head down to the rolled sleeve t-shirts, equip the charcoal rolled tee, this one here. By the way, you don't need pouches on this outfit, uh, but it does work if you have the pouches on as well. But yeah, from here, go down to the crew emblem. You want to equip the crew emblem on the back. So just here. And from here, head over to any ammunition store. Then inside of ammunition, you want to go to the front desk over here. Head up to the parachutes at the top left. You want to head over to the parachute upgrades and then equip any of the bags that allow you, well, that allow you to have the crew logo on them. So it works with the India shoot bag and it also works with the Pakistan shoot bag. So you'll see it here. And it also works with custom parachutes, so like the junk parachute and the e-cola parachute. So these two it works on. I'm going to be equipping this junk one here. And after you've done so, you want to equip a parachute using your interaction menu, so set it on. And as you can see there, you'll have the crew logo on top of the parachute. So like I said, you can change your crew logo uh, so that it matches your outfits that you're trying to make. Uh, so yeah, it's just an easy way to glitch your outfit a bit more. But yeah, that's it done. So I hope you like this. Anyway, on to the next clothing glitch. Next up, I'm going to be showing you a really quick and easy way on how to get pouches on any clothing. So any of these pouches here it works with. So it's like on the last glitch you saw I had pouches on the outfit. It's basically like that. So I'm going to be using these pouches here. But as I said, you can use any outfit with the pouches you want. You want to take off any accessories, so any uh, hats or masks or gloves. And then save this to any slot. And after you've done so, back out of this menu. Go down to Outfits, Heist, Coveralls. And equip any of the last four on this menu. So any of the ones with the gas mask. And then go to the telescope on the pier. Over here, just run by the telescope. Spam right on the D-pad. You should be standing still, so open up your interaction menu. Equip the outfit we just saved. Run away, the gas mask should merge on, so from here, go to the, uh, the mask store. Then over here, go onto any menu, and then save this in the same slot as you saved it in before, so overwrite the save. And after you saved it, open up your pause menu. You want to go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, then go to missions and start up a titan of a job. In the mission, you'll notice the plate carrier disappears, so from here, go to any ammunition store in the mission. Then inside of ammunition, you want to go ahead and save this in the same slot as you saved it in before, so overwrite the save again, and then quit the job using your phone. Now once you spawn in you want to go to any clothing store and now you can go ahead and change the, the pants, the shoes, the top, anything you want to. And feel free to get creative with this, you can make some really nice outfits using this glitch. Um, yeah, that's it done, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, anyway, on to the next clothing glitch. The next outfit glitch in this video is going to be another really quick and simple one. And it is how to get the Space Ranger outfit onto, well the Space Ranger helmet onto any outfit. So you want to make sure you have the outfit you want it on saved. And then go ahead and equip the Republican Space Ranger outfit on the character suits on the arena war menu uh, so arena war outfits character suits 
and I believe it also works with all these other outfits here so feel free to experiment with this. Uh, but from here go to the telescope on the pier or any telescope on the map. And then over here all you want to do is run by the telescope and spam right on the d-pad and you should end up standing still. So once you are you want to open up your interaction menu and then go to your outfit, equip the outfit you want the helmet on and then run away you'll notice the helmet emerges onto it so like this. Now there is also another Space Ranger helmet in the game that is more rare than this. Uh, so if you have an outfit with that on, you can also do this glitch to merge it onto any of your other outfits. Well, that's it for this clothing glitch, now on to the next one. Now the next clothing glitch is going to be how to get the Jet Black open duffel bag onto any outfit and how to get it in the first place. So we have a new really easy method on how to get it and this isn't the regular standard duffel bag. It is a lot darker, it's a jet black and it's open. All you want to do first of all is equip the outfit you would like the jet black duffel bag on and then open up your pause menu. You want to go to the map and you want to head over to this D on the map. It should be a Dax mission. If you don't have it unlocked, uh, you will have to have completed the first mission, which is a Ron mission just over there where I showed you on the map. So complete that and after you have, you should unlock this here uh, right next to the freak shop and you want to head over there. Once you're over here, all you want to do is, as I said, just make sure you have the outfit you want the duffel bag on equipped. And then you want to go ahead, go onto the golden circle, and you want to press right D-pad to start up this mission. Just start the mission on your own, by the way, it's really simple to do. Uh, so to start off, you just want to follow the steps. So just head over to the golden circle on the map. Once you're over here, you will have to find any truck cab. So they're really simple to find, just find anyone. Once you're in the cab, all you need to do from here is go ahead and collect the party supplies. So they will be uh, really close to you. Just reverse up into them. And they should attach onto the back. So just reverse into them. It doesn't matter how you reverse, it doesn't have to be perfect. Once they have attached, all you need to do from here is just start driving to the golden circle. After a certain point you will have the lost MC coming after you and then they will end up shooting the party supplies. So they'll go on fire, you have to abandon the trailer. After you've abandoned the trailer, head over to the golden circle. So now that you're at the lost MC clubhouse, all you need to do is take out all the people outside. Uh, so I'll skip to when I've done that. After you've taken all of them out, just head inside through this door here. So just go straight inside and then you want to find the lost MC plans and photograph them. So they're really easy to find, they're just through this door here. So bring up your phone and take a picture. So just like this, really simple and easy to do. After you have taken the picture, just go out of this room and you should find a black duffel bag on the side. So there you go, it is on the side there. You want to go up to it and press right d-pad to grab the duffel bag. It should go onto your outfit from here. All you want to do is you want to open up your interaction menu. You want to change one thing on your outfit, so I just switched the gloves. That's all you need to do. So I'd recommend just switching gloves. And from here you can either complete the mission or just quit the job using your phone. And there you go, you now have the duffel bag on your outfit. So from here to save it, you need to get on a flying vehicle and fly high above the mask store. Once you're flying high, just jump off your flying vehicle, open up the parachute straight away or when you're close to the ground, just open up the parachute. You want to land right in front of the mask store. So before you uh, take off your parachute, you want to spam right D-pad to get onto the menu. Once you get on the menu, you just want to go ahead and save this outfit. And then you'll notice when you re-equip it, it will have the duffel bag on. So there you go, that's how you get it. And it'll be on your outfit now. You can switch outfits, do whatever you want, or customize this. But now I will show you quickly how to put it onto any other outfit. So to put it onto any other outfit, you want to first equip the outfit you want to put it on. And then you want to equip a parachute on the outfit that you want the duffel bag on. So just any parachute, it doesn't matter. And then save this parachute. Well, save this outfit with the parachute on. Now just go ahead and equip the outfit we have the jet black duffel bag on. So go ahead and equip that one and then get on a flying vehicle and fly high above the mask store. Then jump off your flying vehicle, open the parachute immediately. Mid-air, you want to switch over to the outfit we had the parachute on. So the one you want the duffel bag to merge onto. This one here. And then go ahead and land right in front of the mask store and spam right D-pad to get on the menu. From here, just save the outfit. 
and then back out of the menu after you have it saved and equip that same outfit you just saved and you'll notice it has the black duffel bag on it and there you go that's this clothing glitch done now on to the next clothing glitch next up i'm going to be showing you an easy glitch on how to get the onesie hood onto any outfit so it's a glitched onesie hood as you can see there so yeah i won't waste your time we'll get straight into it so to start off with the glitch first of all you want to make your outfit how you want it so choose the outfit you want the onesie hood on so just choose your pants shoes your gloves and your top once you have your outfit how you want it you then want to go onto tops and then equip the peach plate carrier over whatever top you chose after you have this you just want to go ahead and save this in slot number one so just make sure you save it in slot one and after you've done so you just want to head down to outfits heist coveralls by the way the glitched hood is going to be from one of the onesie hoods it works with all of them by the way so we'll be glitching a hood onto this outfit but from here what you want to do as i said is go down to outfits heist coveralls and equip any of the last four so any of these with a gas mask after you have any of those just head over to the telescope on the pier over here run by the telescope spam right on the d-pad you should be standing still so open up your interaction menu equip the outfit you just saved and made uh, run away the gas mask will merge on so from here go to the mask store down at the mask store you just want to go onto any menu and then save this in slot number one so overwrite the save just make sure you save it to slot one after you've done so you want to open up your pause menu and then you want to head over to online jobs and then go down to play job so jobs play job rocks are created and then start up a titan of a job on missions in the mission you should see that your peach plate carrier does disappear and after it has all you want to do well it you'll spawn in with it disappeared um, but from here what you want to do is go to an ammunition store inside of the mission and then inside of ammunition you want to go on the menu and then save this in slot number one so overwrite the save again and after you've overwritten the save uh, just quit a job using your phone now once you do spawn in you just want to head opposite you into the ammunition store so go opposite you and then what you want to do is you want to head over onto the outfit section on the right here and we want to go down to the onesies so it should be at the bottom the very bottom um, and then you'll have all these onesies to choose from i am making this one well we're making a white and black outfit so i'm going to use this ice onesie and basically it's just to get the hood from the onesie uh, onto our outfit so from here you want to open up your pause menu once you have your onesie equipped then go to jobs play job uh, go on to bookmarked this time not rockstar created so bookmarked, head down to missions and start up it's a G thing so I'll leave a link to this in the description for you to bookmark. And then in this menu here all you need to do is set the clothing to player saved outfits and then just invite anyone and you can just start this up. Once someone has joined and you load into this section here, just scroll one to the right on owned outfit and then ready up. Once you've loaded into the mission, just wait a few seconds, so wait a little bit. And after you've waited, just open up your pause menu, go to online and start up Rockstar Creator. Now in this menu here, all you want to do is open up your pause menu and then you want to go to online and you want to find a invite only session. Then once you have loaded in, you'll see you have the onesie outfit on. So from here, what you want to do is go to any street car. So it can be your own car or well, it can be your own car or a street car. Just make sure it's a car, not a motorbike. So head over to one and then you want to go ahead and sit inside, but register as an MC or CEO just before you sit inside. And once you have sat inside, uh, just go to MC or CEO style and you want to switch one to the right. So onto the style, one to the right, then one back to the left. So over to this one then back to none. Once you've done that, uh, exit the car and you'll notice you have this outfit now. So you'll see the onesie hood merges onto your outfit. Uh, so from here you can go and save it. So yeah, just make sure you go, go ahead and save it. And there you go, that's a glitch done. So feel free to do this with other outfits as well. And it works with all the onesie hoods. So I just think it makes this outfit look really clean, especially if you add some armor. It's almost like a black hoodie, like a black sleeveless hoodie with a white hood. 
So anyway, that's this final clothing glitch done, and that's all of them done in this video. So if you found this video helpful or you liked at least one of the glitches, uh, please leave a like down below as it helps out massively. Also, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, that's it done though. Let me know down below what videos you want to see next, what kind of outfits you want to see. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, also comment down below, and I'll try and heart your comment. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Have an awesome day or night, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.